Hey guys, and welcome to The Shack. This video is a tutorial on how to make up molar solutions. That is, solutions where the concentration of the solute is defined in molarity, or moles per liter. The standard laboratory practice is to use a volumetric flask. This is similar to a flat bottom flask, except that it has a thinner and taller neck and a line on the neck. This line is where the bottom of the meniscus should be when you have finished making up your solution. These flasks come in different sizes so that you can make different volumes of solution. To use a volumetric flask, you simply weigh out a certain mass of the solute and add it to the flask half full of your solvent. Once the solid is dissolved, you continue adding the solvent until the appropriate volume has been reached. But you don't need to spend extra money on volumetric flasks. You can make up a molar solution with a graduated cylinder and a beaker, and you probably have tons of those already. The solution that I will be preparing is a one molar solution of potassium hydroxide to use for titrations in future videos, and I want about 200 milliliters of this solution. Start the preparation by weighing out the calculated mass of potassium hydroxide. If this were 100% pure, I would weigh out 11.22 grams, but it is 94.78% pure, so I will weigh out 11.84 grams. If you make a mistake while weighing, like I just did, just make up the solution to the original volume desired and calculate the new molarity. If you need a solution of a specific molarity and you mess up when weighing, you can either adjust the amount of solvent or just weigh again. I will still be using 200 milliliters of water though because my measurement was only off by 0.02 grams. Now in a graduated cylinder, measure out significantly less solvent than the desired volume of your in solution. Since I want 200 milliliters of solution, I have measured out 150 milliliters of water. Pour the solvent into a beaker and begin adding the solute. I have to add mine slowly because the dissolution is exothermic. If the dissolution is endothermic, or only mildly exothermic, you can just add it all at once. Make sure to rinse out the weigh boat with some of your solvent to ensure maximum transfer of the solute. Once the solute is completely dissolved, Pour the solution back into the graduated cylinder, rinsing the beaker several times, again to ensure maximal transfer. If you use a stirring rod, make sure to rinse that off as well. Finally, add your solvent until the solution reaches the desired volume. Once you get within a few milliliters of the endpoint, use a pipette or wash bottle to add the rest of the solvent. And now you can transfer your solution to an appropriate bottle and label it. 